In this video, let's wait event to collect items and how to open a gate. We will use on collision and on trigger events to do it. Open folder Pixel Adventure to get some item image. There are many items here. I will add some orange. Select all and drop them into hierarchy. Name it any names you like. This animator and an animation have been rated. Change this to orange animator. Select object orange. This animator file is auto added to animator component. Change its size bigger and press play to test it. We already have an animated item ready to collect. For collision events, we need to add a collider to this orange. You can use Box Collider 2D or Circle Collider 2D up to you. Press F to zoom it. Then edit the collider size. Press Play. Player cannot go overlap it if value is triggered is unchecked. Check it and try again. If its trigger is checked, it allows all the colliders can go overlap it. Let's select orange to do collision checks if player touch orange. Add new visual script and script. Name it Collectible Item. Because its collider option is trigger is checked, we will use on trigger and the 2D to check collision event. Output collider is another collider that orange is in touch. Compare if it is in touch with player. Make sure you edit tag player to your player. If player touch orange, it will trigger true, then we will collect the item. Create a custom event to collect the orange. To collect it, we gonna destroy this orange object. This script is inside orange object. This means this orange object to destroy it. Press play to test it. The orange is destroyed after player touch it. Duplicate to create more collectible items. With only one script, it will work for all these items. Let's add some more objects. I'm going to add a gate controller and a gate. Let's use this one as a gate controller. Select on this image, drop into hierarchy to create an animation. Rename this to Rockhead Animator. And this animation is Link. Edit its size bigger and press play. 
it started with animation blink. Let's create idle motion from this image. Right click, create animation. Rename it Rockhead Edo. Open Rockhead Animator. Add Animation Edo. Then set Motion Edo as the default animation. Add Blink Animation in two. Press Play. Blink animation is not played anymore. Move it near to player. Change its name to Rockhead. Next, create a gate that will be open if player touch the Rockhead. I will use this pole as a gate to block the way to the end point. Duplicate the wall to cover on the top of it. To put this wall below, set its layer lower. Next, add a collider to this pole object. This collider to block player not enter this area. Change its name to gate. Run the game. Player cannot enter this zone until open this gate. If player touch rockhead, open the gate. For collision check, we need to add a collider to this rockhead. Click F to zoom to it, then edit collider size. Press play. Player didn't switch to the idle animation because we didn't add this rockhead to the round layer yet. You can watch again tutorial part 5 round check for this. Box collider with value is triggered unchecked. Player can stand on this collider or this object. Next, add a new piece of written script to add collision events. Name it Gate Controller. Because value is triggered unchecked. So we use on collision enter 2D to check its collision. This is collider component from this object. Any other colliders touch this object will be sold on the collider output. Check if that object in touch is player object. We add the tag player to our player object earlier. If player touch this rock head as custom event to open the gate, name it open gate. Before opening a gate, play the animation blink of rock head. This is animator component from this object. You can double click to open it. Add name of animation blink to state name input to play. Collision is working, but animation blink needs to be non loop. Set motion blink to non loop and play again. It works perfect now. To open a gate, we need to add that gate to Rockhead object. Select Rockhead. Add new object variable. Name it gate. With type is game object. 
then drop the gate want to open into this variable. Open rock head script again, head gate object want to open. To open a gate, just destroy it. Press play to see the result. The gate is open and destroyed successfully. Now you understand when you need to use on collision enter 2D and when to use on trigger enter 2D to check the collision events. Next video, learn how to score after collecting items. and how to save this score for the next time game open. See you in the next video.